Hello everyone, RPG Penguin here, and welcome to a ship-based tutorial on Jump Ship, the game. So, we're going to be covering a lot of stuff, such as what to do, what you start with, and what everything does on your ship, including health bars, how much they heal, and when you get conditions and stuff applied to your ship. So to start, your vehicle will always start with 25 materia. This is helpful for ammo in the future, uh, and a small repair kit on easier difficulties. Let's first talk about conditions. Now conditions happen when your ship takes damage to either the shield or the health. It's more likely when you have less health, and more likely when you have more players. Alright, so we've lost about two and a half. I'm going to quickly use this ship repair core, and you'll see how much it recovers. It recovers two whole bars. Now what's interesting is if you get down to two bars total, uh, after all the stuff, uh, let's say you get into combat, you get down to two bars of health, and you have Buddy on board, Buddy will automatically use anything that is on the ship, such as the small repair core, which takes 50 material to make, to repair the ship. Uh, Buddy, however, does not repair shields, like if I drop this here and wait a while, they will not repair your shields, they will only repair your core, once it is, once it is at two or lower. What's so important about these shields is that they protect you from status effects and cost 30, which is significantly less than 50, and they have the same health amount as the two bars of health that you get otherwise. Two shields equals one health, four shields equals two health, which means that shields are more materia effective. Alright, now that you know the mechanics to keep a ship alive, let's talk actual combat. When approaching an enemy from range, real guns have a farther range than your main gun. You need to aim with this little crosshair, you need to line up with a target that will appear on a ship, uh, essentially predicting the movement of it. So there, you can see that target, if you hit it, the ship gets destroyed really quickly. Which is really good because you want to conserve ammo. Now something to note is the pilot's gun takes less ammo than the heavy miniguns in the gunnery bay, uh, and it takes about the same as the real guns to fire. As you're flying around, you may also notice little blue spots. Uh, these are more commonly dropped by larger creatures, uh, or larger ships. And what they do is allow you to return, get like a return on your materia expended for things like repairs, which, as we previously mentioned, should typically be used on shields. But wait, there's more, because you can crit an opposing ship by shooting at their engines or weak spots that are on their vessel. Now, if you get bored with shooting ships with your ship, or if I am outside of my ship, as I just was, repairing my shields, I can fly over to these. I recommend you have a weapon like this and destroy a point of interest. Uh, for that one, it's that very top gun in the very front, which will then end up destroying the ship after a self-destruct sequence. If you would like to eject yourself out of a ship, however, I would recommend putting on cruise control in single player or have a pilot pilot the ship so the ship is not a sitting duck, because then you'll be less likely to conditions such as fire, which, by the way, takes away at your shields if you have shields instead of your health. Worried about crashing? Well, don't be. There is no ship collision damage. Uh, I guess something else to mention. If you're too close, following the target marker will not help you, because your ship will always fire slightly below it. So if you're not hitting your shots, wait for the enemy to get a bit farther away, and then you can actually start landing those blasts. Alright, let's talk a bit about ship detection. So each of our opposing ships can see us when we're within range of our guns. So if you want to avoid ship detection altogether, and still make it to objectives, you got to find a sweet spot between their vision and where the objective is. So if I go below... Oh, by the way, the vision's also blocked by obstacles. So if I go below them, like so, sort of look up, you can see they're all around. They're not going to detect our vessel, unless they get within our gun range. So staying at about 1.5 uh, to 2 kilometers away is always a good choice. Which then will let you, if you really want to, Sneak on board one of these. I think it's the other side, actually, so I'm going to try my best. Because if they see you in space, then they may start looking for your vessel, and their vision will be increased by an alarming rate. Alright, currently I'm in a derelict vessel. If they see me, i got to dive down so I'm out of their line of sight. Uh, your person does actually take collision damage, uh, by the way. And now, I'm hidden from those enemies. Crouch to reduce my visibility run inside and break line of sight through a wall. And now, we've done it. We successfully entered an area without being detected, without having to, in, being able to avoid ship combat altogether, which can be helpful if you're really low on materia and the enemies there are ridiculously strong. On ah, target lock. Here's an interesting thing. You need to shift to sort of avoid it best you can. Uh, that ship was way too close, so I couldn't easily avoid the target lock, 
Uh, but there's missiles, which have one position to shoot. And it will in, uh, advise you, if you can find where the missiles are, to dive out of the way. Which will let you avoid being hit by the missiles from ships that shoot missiles. Oh my gosh, stop! <laughs> This is where you can use Q and E to roll a little bit to get a better semblance of avoidance. Oh my gosh, there's so many. Go. Just finish this up. Don't know where these are, I think they ran through the wall. So some people may be playing without Buddy. This is if you have enough people, Buddy will be sent to the back lines. So here's how you load ship munitions. and. You know, that feels like it also falls a bit under, like, on-the-ground tutorials. So if you're looking for a new tutorial and want me to cover more about this game in a tutorial-style fashion, I can tell you about on-the-ground tactics, and all the equipment that you can use, and the weapon tiers, and how you can, like, shoot things out of the sky with railguns and rocket launchers. Uh, leave a like or a comment if you want to see that, and uh, let's continue to ship upgrades. How do I upgrade my ship? Even if all I do all these tips, I still keep on losing. How do I upgrade my ship? Well. Head over to the galaxy map, select a mission of difficulty 3 or greater, this is to give you a pretty good odds of running into another cruiser class vessel, which is what your uh, vessel is, and thus if you go destroy those uh, and steal from them, you can get their upgrades to use on your vessel. Powerful ship carries obtainable components on board. Now, there's two ways you can attack this, either with your ship or with the yourself. Uh, it's recommended that you attack it with yourself, however, because that is a lot easier to get the materials out of it before it gets completely, completely destroyed. Now here's my actual new target, and you know, instead of all this, I'm gonna go downstairs, get myself a weapon, and fly on board to avoid ship combat, but to get that ship upgrade, which will be imperative if you want to advance. Uh, it's either that or upgrading components, but upgrading components, if I go over to my engineering bay real quick, makes it so that those components are a little bit bigger and change in size and sort of reshuffles all of this. Well, new components just require you to make new connections on that board. All right, let us do this. Right there is the big ship. A lot of enemies on board, which is why I got an actual weapon uh, for this, so it's gonna be a lot easier to deal with. Now, you don't really need to go defeat every enemy that is on board. Uh, I'll quickly get to the main objective, which is here, uh, but it makes it a lot easier if you're not being shot at all the time. Lost the target. And last one. Once you clear all of them, you can activate the energy conduit. Jump into that room. You fly in. You grab the component, and then you get out. And now I have a light shield regenerator, which is something I didn't actually have before, so that is really nice. And a ship upgrade uh, will be permanent past all runs. Unlike artifacts, which, if you want an artifact tutorial, let me know. Once you get that component, head to an install point, and install it, and then it'll be added to your ship. You can see it's sort of a power plug shape there. And I don't think I can actually fit that in my current generator, which is why I can upgrade your generators to fit more stuff, such as that component there. Anyway, that was a tutorial uh, on the ship combat mechanics in Jump Ship. Hope you enjoyed, have a great day and or night, and I'll see you on the battlefield.